and welcome back to my channel so you clicked on this video a because you came from one of the girls that I'm collabing with because this is a collab video or two you forgot it was Valentine's Day so this video like I said before is a collab video with five other girls I met through Instagram who are also here on YouTube their channels are gonna be linked down below this video is gonna be a DIY Valentine's Day gift idea video um, I also like do the DIYs, but I'm very bad at DIYs, but I really wanted to, you know, step out of my comfort zone a little bit. My, the last one I show you, I currently just did and filmed, and it's not done drying, so I didn't show you the finished product, but it's my favorite one, and I've done it before, so I know it turns out properly. So if you guys want to see my video, then keep on watching, and don't forget to check out the girls' channels down below, as well as their videos. So you guys ever just sitting there... And then all of a sudden, you realize that Valentine's Day is in less than a week. Well, let me give you some tips. First, you're going to go on Pinterest and you're going to search DIY Valentine's Day gifts. Or you're going to go on YouTube and you're going to watch a video like this. And then you're going to do a few things. And I'm going to show you how, so uh, just keep watching. So for this first one, you're going to need some paper, a jar of some sort, and some scissors, and a marker. So I start out by taking some paper. I'm going to use some purple and red paper because it's super, super festive. Now you're going to want to cut out some strips, and I found like the easiest way to do it was to like cut it up like this way and then cut it up like this way. I really don't know how else to explain it. Now you're going to want to take the time and write out a date or place to go or something to do on each one of these little labels. I looked up date ideas on Pinterest and then wrote them all out. Now I'm just decorating my jar according to how I want this one. I just cut out a heart and then wrote date uh, night jar and then I put it to the top and then I also wrapped a ribbon around I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's not really gonna care what it looks like but that is the finished product now for this one you're gonna need some scrapbook a scissor something to put inside of your envelopes and an envelope template that you can get online so I'm going to start by picking out some cardstock paper to use as my envelope. Now I'm not going to lie, I did a terrible job at this one and it's really hard to explain. But I'm just cutting this out in a square and then folding it the way you would if it was a envelope and with the template it's really easy to do it so I'm just doing that it takes me a really long time but I'm just folding it And I have these cute little love notes I have that I put inside, but you can write your own personalized notes and put them inside. But they're just really cute, like handmade envelopes, and then like you can have whatever you want inside. I think it's super cute and thoughtful. And now here I'm just showing you another one in fast motion. It's just a little bit bigger. 
and I get a little bit better at it. Um, I forgot to say that you're definitely going to need glue or tape for this. I didn't have any, so I kind of faked it with some stickers and stuff, which are also really cute to decorate with. So this is my last and favorite DIY. So you're going to need a plate, some dishwashing soap, paper, paint of your choice, and a marker, as well as a paintbrush. You're gonna take one four, like not one fourth. You're gonna take one part dish soap to one part acrylic paint, and you're gonna mix them together. And if the camera's shaky at all, it's because my sister was in charge of the camera. So now on the paper, I kind of just make cut the paper in half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three reasons why I love you. And I just write that in the black marker on the top. Then I use a pink marker and then draw three hearts down at the bottom. My art skills are not perfect. And then I take some time and think about this and I fill in three reasons why I love whoever I'm making this for. And then I go ahead and use our mixture and paint the inside of the hearts. And this mixture makes it like a scratch off when it dries and it's really cool and it works. I've done it so many times and it's probably my favorite little DIY. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked. Don't forget to comment and subscribe as well as check out all the other girls' channels. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!